Alright guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how, how to improve your FPS and your ping at the same time. And leave a like on this video and maybe comment if this helped you at all. And um, in the Arsenal uh, gameplay that you're seeing right now is actually me recording with all the steps done. And as, and as you can see, the ping was decent. I mean, still, of course, a little bit laggy because I was recording. But yeah, it was it was staying below 2000 and be decently within the 100 mark. So uh, yeah, goodbye, enjoy. All right, so um, the first step actually is to go here, <laughs> Papa. But yeah, you have to go to settings, and then as you can see, it may be at automatic right now don't do that go to manual and then like maybe it'll be this high which is really really bad bring it bring it down to just one or like the the minimum and that'll really help with the lag so what you're gonna want to do is go down here uh settings and then so here all this what you're gonna want to do usually people may have this on or like i don't know all these particle physics all all this annoying stuff that actually just not even help any with anything i i would highly recommend do doing this just turn off all of these it, it'll help a heck of a lot all right guys so so here, um, here's something that I actually learned from Obscurus. He recently made a video on this, and I never knew this. All right, guys. So what you're gonna want to do is go to Roblox, Roblox Game Client in Task Manager. Wait a minute. You, oh, you guys can't see that, but <laughs> yeah. So what you're gonna want to do is right-click it. You still can't see it. It'll say Go to Details. I'll, I'll give you guys a screenshot of it, uh, like the editor meal, I'll, I'll give you a screenshot, but, yeah. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is, go to set affinity, once again I'll send a screenshot, or put a screenshot, and then there will also be a screenshot for this. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna say which processors are allowed to run. And you have to put in all, all three or all four, I guess. C CPU zero, CPU one, CPU two, CPU three, or just all press processors. You have to do that, and that'll actually help quite a bit. And if it's automatically on, then this just step just doesn't mean anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it. Alright guys, so what you're go gonna wanna do is go to the Roblox player, uh, right click here, uh, do open file location, then it's gonna lead you here. You gotta click platform content, PC, then textures, then you should see a folder here or it could just be there. Do not delete these three, they are kinda important. Um, so my this is you don't have to do this i guess but i would highly recommend it i would suggest i would suggest that uh you uh go and the copy first copy these um so you know let me put it just put that there so as you can see here I have a textures thing here. What you're going to want to do is copy, copy these, which I just did the control C, then paste them all into there. Just so that way um, it doesn't, just so that like if you want to bring them back, if you don't like how it looks, you could just, yeah. So I'm going to bring these just in back. They won't be 
the files and now that you saved it somewhere else you could delete these bruh oops didn't delete it yeah so now you could delete all these all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh make sure to leave a like on this video if uh if this actually helped you and uh yeah and maybe subscribe actually yeah maybe subscribe yeah bye